Hello, I'm Mr. Capelli from Hoover Elementary and I'm going to read the complete works of Shakespeare. Dad, you can't read that. Well, why not? That'll take days. Well, I was going to use my Shakespeare voice and everything. Try this instead. Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout Would Not Take the Garbage Out by Shel Silverstein. Well, can I still use my Shakespeare voice? Yeah, sure, whatever. Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out. She'd scour the pots and scrape the pans, candy the yams and spice the hams. And though her daddy would scream and shout, she simply would not take the garbage out. And so it piled up to the ceilings, coffee grounds, potato peelings, brown bananas, rotten peas, chunks of sour cottage cheese. It filled the can, it covered the floor, it cracked the window and blocked the door with bacon rinds and chicken bones, drippy ends of ice cream cones, prune pits, peach pits, orange peel, gloppy glumps of cold oatmeal, pizza crusts and withered greens, soggy beans and tangerines, crusts of black burned buttered toast, grisly bits of beefy roasts. The garbage rolled on down the hall, it raised the roof, it broke the wall, greasy napkins, cookie crumbs, Globs of gooey bubble gum, cellophane from green bologna, rubbery, blubbery macaroni, peanut butter caked and dry, curdled milk and crusts of pie, moldy melons, dried up mustard, eggshells mixed with lemon custard, cold French fries and rancid meat, yellow lumps of cream of wheat. At last the garbage reached so high that it finally touched the sky and all the neighbors moved away and none of her friends would come to play. And finally, Sarah Cynthia Stout said, okay, I'll take the garbage out. But then, of course, it was too late. The garbage reached across the state from New York to the Golden Gate. And there, in the garbage she did hate, poor Sarah met an awful fate that I cannot now relate, because the hour is much too late. But children remember Sarah Stout and always take the garbage out. Okay, cut. Cut? Oh, good, thanks. Nice job, Molly. Dad, are those Star Wars pants? Yeah, but you stopped filming, so no one's going to be able to tell I wore my Star Wars pants today. So, good job. Thanks. Okay.